This is Sam Vaughn for Sam's Fortune Report and Sam's Mental Health Day. We're going to talk about bettering yourself. Bettering yourself means a lot of people try to better themselves. He does not criticize the vice president, marketing expert, judgment, nor pretend to he could better himself. I couldn't have done better myself. I teach them to better themselves. Is which way being better as a friend, I became more honest and more vulnerable and authentic. And when I focus on being better partner in my romantic relationship, I become better communicator and more patient. The benefits of feeling better when you focus on one area you want to improve instead of focusing on a whole bunch of areas it trends to go better. As we already highlighted, making yourself better can look like a many, many different things. But no matter how what you do to trying to be better, a version of yourself always has a positive outcome. Did you know that there are skills, the many mental health benefits associated with learning new skills? to improve on this skill. According to the four primary benefits, learning how to skills, improving ourselves, improving our brain and health and memory, increase mental health well-being and engage ourselves in a comfort zone. Being trapped in a comfort zone is a upper determinant of joy. It's not what you get out of joy. You're being content and being in the, just wanting to stay the same doesn't help. The most interesting thing about people I know are those who always learn. Luckily, you don't have to be an academic student to, of the world. Here are some options of to go to keep learning no matter where you are in life. I would say school is not for me, so I do, not, I do better learning outside of school in a workplace, especially on hands. Seek professional help. The most successful sports people have professionals helping them. For example, Patrick Mahomes has a quarterback coach, um, and he leads him to that. He also has a trainer to train him, and you wouldn't believe the amount of exercises he do. You could check that out. In fact, I'll link it right here. If you want to be able to be accountable for others being better yourself, seeking professional help. Professional help is important. Um, when you meet with the psychologist, it's important to um, give your comments and give your notes and all that stuff. If So seeking other help is important. It has helped me in many ways in life. If you're interested in therapy, you can help happier even when you don't find the for it interesting article. Or will speak louder than words. Action will speak. If you do the action, you'll get it done. The legendary basketball player Michael Jordan says, which means just play, just play, which most athletes that are very good do until you keep working it, until you keep working it, and then you work on it some more. Is bettering yourself requires an endorsement amount. Think about your striving to be a better athlete. Every decision you make contributes to those. If you choose to stay parting, Early hours of the morning, this will be determined will impact your ability to train. If you want to reach the highest level of planists, how you look after your hands and schedule a daily practice with no dedicate your success. When you commit, how long jaw dropping absence aren't succeeding with one gym session. Change does not happen overnight. Every tip. I've discussed with you so far it takes time you're gonna to have to dedicate yourself to one of these and then follow one of these and then in a week later maybe go follow another one just like I'm given and other but also willing to know that you may need breaks like for example if I, I if I run every day you think I'll run fast the next day it's not a chance you're willing to dish honor yourself be a future self give self time to improve and don't 
set unrealistic goals, re recognize how far you've come, permit yourself a downtime to prevent burnout. And it's like I said with running. Athletes require a rest day. Scholars need a holiday. Remember to take time to breathe and help energize you to continue your mission. I used to be a terrible typist. I took the class I took the class and I was still a terrible typist. But now that I am writing pod podcasts, I have improved. One way that I can improve is my spelling. Maybe becoming faster. And also is it important to because I don't have good handwriting due to my dysgraphia. Here is a link for one of my podcasts done on dysgraphia. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report and Sam's Mental Health Day. Here are eight steps to un your life. Step one, cleanse thy earthly vessel. Shower, get fresh, treat yourself with respect. Brush your teeth, wear a scent, because this is it. This is the character you're playing as. And if you fail to take care of yourself on a basic level, you'll fail outwards in space and time, because it all starts with you. Being clean and feeling fresh as a ritual will increase your self-perception over time. You'll be putting your best foot forward and will be signaling to your subconscious that you're worth taking care of. So even if Yellowstone erupts and the world descends into chaos and destruction, at least you'll smell good. Step two, order the kingdom. Clean your room, deep clean your house. Get rid of all the shit that's scattering your mind. Refuse to live in a monument of filth like an ever-present reminder of things left undone. Because the space you occupy is an extension of yourself. Is it disordered? Because if it is, so are you. So take your pick. You can order yourself or order your kingdom. It doesn't really matter because it's the same thing. No more half-done jobs. Go room to room and make things right. Make things beautiful. When you are clean, and your kingdom is too, then you'll feel like you have your shit together somewhat, and it will encourage you to bring that energy to the rest of your life. Start with you and the things that you have control over, and then venture forth. When you have your ducks in a row, then get out of the house. Rapunzel stayed in her tower because she was emotionally manipulated by a devouring mother, but what about you? The human brain operates best with our feet moving, sun in our face, and eyes moving from left to right. Go outside, because everyone's wondering where you went. We're meant to be in relationship and community with others. Become an initiator of people coming together and things happening. Because the modern world is designed from the ground up to keep you inside. We technically don't have to leave the house ever, so a lot of us don't, and our lives pass us by. Step four, sweat. If I told you there was a pill that was guaranteed to boost your mental and physical energy throughout the day, increase your overall mood and outlook on life, improve your mental clarity, prolong your lifespan, and increase your physical attractiveness, would you take that pill? But that pill is real, and it's called working out, and the top performers in the world take it every day. So get the blood pumping, go break a sweat, do it daily, because that which costeth energy giveth energy. Step five, monitor thy treasury. Because giant corporations are thriving on the fact that you don't. They encourage unconscious spending and auto-renewing subscriptions that slowly bleed you of your hard-earned cash. And this out of sight, out of mind attitude is keeping you stuck. So check your balance daily. Does it sting? Good. Let that sting motivate you to investigate what's going on. What are you paying for that you don't care about? Exposing yourself to the hard numbers unlocks the ability to do something about it. Step six, remove the hooks. What are you bound to? What are you dependent on in order to operate at baseline? What external substances or behaviors are you using to medicate internal problems? Turn off notifications. Stop getting pulled back into the cycle. Unsubscribe to email chains, unfollow Instagram accounts, remove things that constantly pull you back into mindless consumerism. Step seven, strategize. Every military operation, political campaign, major corporation,